Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Buenas noches. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, how are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you for being online. Are you prepared for the class for today? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Maricela, Liliana, Rufino, Luis Enriquez, Mr. Luis Alonso Urias, Patricia, Crisia, Jenny, Hugo, Angela, Maricela, Estela, Levi, y Angela. Thank you for being here on time. Uh, we are going to begin right now with the class. Remember, we are going to have a little review. We are going to practice a little bit of um, like our speaking today because um, uh, vamos a ver si me sale la actividad porque no, nunca he hecho rooms en Zooms, así que si alguien sabe, pues me puede ayudar. Este, voy a tratar de hacer rooms para que practiquen en parejas. Así que si usted se conectó hoy, trate de este, ayudar a su compañero o compañera para practicar. Vamos a ver si, si se puede hacer. Y si por alguna razón no, se, no pueden hablar o algo por el estilo, pues entonces eh, vamos a tratar de, de ayudarle a esa compañera pues que tal vez no pudo completar la, la conversación. So we are going to speak a lot today. We are going to practice actually. And we are going to work in pairs, but that will be later. Okay, eso va a ser después. Un poquito más después. Y um, tomorrow you just have to be prepared with questions, right? I will ask you some things just to review the material that we have studied before. Um, I will uh, talk to you about, well, ask you about different things that we have studied, not something that you don't know, but something like the past and used to and different things like, like nouns, countable nouns, uncountable nouns, things like that, right? Very simple things that you will have to explain to me. But we are going to, um, we're going to begin reviewing the, the previous class, right? Previous class, we were talking about comparisons with adjectives. Estábamos, con, estábamos comparando con adjetivos y nombres. Entonces, that's what we are going to review a little bit today. And we are going to check for the homework, right? La tarea que tenían era nada más hacer una lista, una pequeña lista, uh, little list of, um, small list of uh, wishes, right? You have to write like two or three wishes that you, um, something that you want to change with your life, something that you want to have and you don't, probably you don't have right now at this moment or something um, unreal, right? that you would like to, to experience. So we are going to begin with comparisons with adjectives and nouns, okay? Just to review a little bit, yesterday we had a homework, right? Homework comparing our houses. Teníamos una tarea que teníamos que comparar nuestra casa con la del vecino, un amigo, a cousins, an aunt, my grandma's, right, grandma. So we used to do that. And you did it very good, actually, Congratulations for everything, all your effort. You are doing it really great, actually. And we are going to just to remind some things, right? That probably can be difficult at this level. So I'm going to share my screen right now and I will point out those, those things. So this is the homework that we had yesterday. Esta era la tarea, verdad? Something that we already did. Esto ya lo hicimos. Entonces, no problem. Very good. Now, we were comparing with uh, quantities, right? With nouns. And we have uncountable nouns and countable nouns. So, we just have to be careful with that. Este es un error que puede, puede hacer muchos o puede ser muy común porque, pues, uh, no, tal vez en español no lo usamos tanto así. But with uh, countable nouns, we use as many, right? We were talking about comparison with as and a noun and then as again, right? We use as many as for countable nouns. And for uncountable nouns, we use as much as. So that's something that we have to be careful just to remind you about that. Uh, we have some examples here. For example, Laura has as much money as Caroline. 
Laura tiene tanto dinero como Caroline. Entonces, ahí, money is uncountable, ¿verdad? I remember that is as much as, es tanto como, ¿verdad? Tanto como. And Kelly wears as much perfume as Pam. A perfume in this case is uncountable. Like bottle of perfumes are, um, sorry, bottles of, of perfume are countable. Now perfume is uncountable, okay? So Kelly wears as much perfume as Pam. And with countable nouns, we have two examples. Michael ate as many donuts as Stanley. Michael se comió tantas donas como Stanley. And Oscar has as many video games as Angela. Oscar tiene tantos videojuegos como Angela. So that's why we have to be careful with that. With adjectives, was, I guess it's a little bit easier, right? But uh, also we have to be careful with the structure. That's why we have to practice the formula, okay? So do you remember the formulas that we studied yesterday? These ones? Have you yes, go ahead. Do you have any questions about this? Do you have any, any doubt? Preguntas acerca de esto, lo que vimos ayer? No questions, okay. Everything is clear, okay. So we just have to practice, right? You, you just have to practice these um, formulas and we are going to continue right now if you don't have any question. So if you don't have any questions, we are going to finish with this uh, topic. We are going to order or organize some words. Okay, aquí están las palabras desordenadas. Disorder. That's why we use formulas because they give uh, they give you an order, right? So the position of the words, and we just have to order them. Uh, it's really easy, right? If we have pay attention. For example, number one, apartments aren't as as houses private what is the correct order for number one any volunteer for number one apartments are as private as houses very good apartments aren't as private as houses very good los apartamentos no son tan privados como las casas very good Thank you, uh, Luz Enriquez. And uh, now uh, number two, these two this hot apartment, apartment, uh -huh. this apartment is too hot. This apartment is too hot, right? That is not a comparison. That is an evaluation, right? This apartment is too hot. Very good. Number three, big enough for our, this family is an apartment. Number three. This apartment isn't big enough for this family, uh, very, for our family. For our family, very good. This apartment isn't big enough for our family. So that's okay, very good. That is a long one, but if we use the formula, everything's okay. Thank you, Liliana. Number four, another volunteer, please. Lights this apartment enough have doesn't. This apartment, this apartment, this apartment doesn't, doesn't have doesn't have lights. Mm -hmm. This apart this apartment doesn't have enough lights. Very good. This apartment doesn't have enough lights. Este apartamento no tiene suficientes luces. Very good. Number five. Crime. This too much city there is in. Number five, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Astrid. There is too much crime in this city. Very good. There is too much crime in this city. And now the last one. There too much neighbors noise make. The last one, another volunteer. The Me neighbors. teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the neighbors. Let's see. The neighbors. 
and yes. to match to match make noise the neighbors too much make noise is that correct no i don't no. know <laughs> Okay, no, it's okay. It's okay. You're trying. That's the important part. So what the is the neighbors mm -hmm. make the most noise? Very good. The yes. neighbors make too much noise. Very good. So that's why we are practicing, or that's why I, I uh, make emphasis in these uh, formulas, right? Subject plus verb, or in this case, verbs to be plus and and different things, right? To compare or to um, make evaluations, right? That's why we have to follow the, the formulas. That's how you create sentences. So we are going to continue. Um, I guess that that's it for the topic for today. So remember that you have to practice for tomorrow class. Now we are going to check the homework, okay? Who did the homework? What was the homework about? I already explained it, right? But who did it? Me. Okay, Liliana, right? It was about uh, writing a wish list. So what are your three wishes? Uh, the first one, I wish I ate more healthy. Okay. Um, the second one, I wish I hadn't gone to the job today because I really love working from home. Okay. And the third one, I'm not sure if it's correct, but Mm -hmm. I wish it wasn't raining today because I got wet once I left my job. I don't know if it's correct. Yes, it's correct. Yes, yes. I wish it wasn't raining, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wish it wasn't raining today because I got wet once I left my job. Yes, it's okay. Very good. Very okay. good. So you had three wishes. You went to your job and you didn't want to go because you were working from home. And also yeah. you wish uh, you uh, ate healthier, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Liliana. So we have three wishes, right? Three wishes. She uh, would like to change or she would like to uh, keep on practicing more on um, this uh, behavior. So that's okay. That's what we are going to talk about today. Now, I need another volunteer. I can ask you Okay, Maricela, go ahead. Okay. I wish I had my own house mm -hmm. because um, if I had my own house, I can do everything that I want. And I, I can go whatever place that I want also. Mm -hmm. And the another, I wish I had a lot of money. Yes, and everyone. Yeah. <laughs> the another, I wish I... I had my own apartment mm -hmm. and the another, I wish I had a small family. You wish you had a small because... family. Mm -hmm. Why? Wait, Marizella, are you there? You got stuck. Yeah, you got frozen, Marisol. Probably we have issues with the connection, right? With the connectivity because it's raining. Actually, it was raining in my house like an hour ago. It was raining heavy, like heavily. And probably we have some problem with the connection. If you have problems, uh, just let me know, right? But uh, Marisol was saying that she wishes she had more money and a lot of money. And also uh, she wishes she had uh, her own house, her own apartment, probably because probably she's sharing her house with her family. Very good. Now I need another volunteer, please. Another participation. Another participation, another person who did the homework. Okay, go ahead. Um, well, I wish my new, my new car and mm -hmm. I wish my, my other computer and, well, I wish other, other house because this house is, it's a little small for me. It's a little, it's a little, but it's a little what, sorry, your house? Small. 
small. So you wish you had a bigger house. Okay, and you wish you yeah, had yeah. your own uh, computer, right? A new computer. Uh, a new computer, only a new computer because we just have two computers uh, in this moment. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Hugo, for your participation. And I want to hear someone else. Who else wants to participate about the wishes? Olivia. Okay, Olivia, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. I wish I I wish Paul speak and understand English. Okay, very good. I wish I wish I had a, a job closer to home. Mm -hmm. I wish I I had a vacation on an island. You, you wish you had a vacation on an island? Island, yeah. Okay, you need vacations. You're working really hard right now. Yes or no? You're not working. Yes. Yes, okay. And you said that you wish you had a job near your house. Where do you where do you work right now? I work in Mexicanos. In Mexicanos. And where do you live? In San Bartolo. San Bartolo. So you have to travel every day to Mexicanos. Yes. Okay. And it's, that's tiring, right? I used to do it before. It's like, it's really tiring because you have to wake up early. You have to go to your job. And then once you leave your job, you have to travel back to your house and probably you arrive at 7, 8, 9 p.m. It depends on the traffic. So a lot of problems, right? Yeah, yeah. that's a very reasonable uh, wish. And also you said that you wish you understood English. So you wish you understood English, but you are practicing, right? English right now, Olivia. You can understand me, right? Yes. Yes, okay. So we, you, we are working on that. Probably we will get there very soon, right? You just need to keep on practicing. That's really important. Thank you, Olivia. Now, Rufino, go ahead. I, I need to I need to hear you right now. Uh, bueno, uh, I wish I had a, a more big house. You wish you had a? Uh, I had a more, a more big house. A oh. bigger house. Uh -huh. You bigger. wish you had a bigger house. Mm -hmm. Yes, a more big house. Uh, I wish I went to Mexico again. Mm -hmm. You wish you were. Because you wish you 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 went to Mexico. I wish I went uh, to Mexico again. Mm -hmm. uh, in the last one, I wish I come back to university. You wish you came back to the university. So uh, you want to go back to your to, to study something else, right? Yes. Uh, what do you what study. do you want to what do you want to study in the university, Rufino? Uh, I I want to study uh, licenciatura in mercadotecnia. Okay, that's really interesting. Licenciatura Okay, but you I, did, did you start already or no? Or not? I I try I I try mm -hmm. and that's uh, that year mm -hmm. before before uh, before pandemic. Mm -hmm. I, you try for pandemic I want I I wanted mm -hmm. I wanted to to uh, to enter enter uh other Again, a university, but what? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I no pude. I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I, I didn't. I didn't could. I didn't okay. can. Okay, you couldn't go back to your university because of the pandemic or because of something else. What? Uh, you, you you couldn't go back to the university because of the pandemic or because of something else? 
today I uh, something uh, I something else. Something uh, else. But 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 in future in the future in the future uh, I want to try. Yes, that's good. If you okay. want to try. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't, uh, mm. I don't lose my hopes. I don't lose hopes on, on that. I don't lose my, uh, I don't lose hopes. Yeah, I don't uh, lose my hopes on that. Yes, <laughs> probably you will be able to, to go back. If you want to go back, probably you, you make the effort writing and you study Mercadotecnia. Okay, very good, Rufino. Thank you for your participation. And probably you will be able to go back to Mexico, right, again. So how do you say mercadotecnia in English? Who knows? ¿Cómo se dice mercadotecnia in English? Marketing. Marketing. Very good. Marketing. Very good. Now we have Balmore Cruz. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, I can hear you, Mar yes, Balmore. Well, well, I didn't do my homework, but I want to improvise. OK. Well, the first one, I wish I had a lot of video games when I was a child because only had a Game Boy. Did mm -hmm. you play in Game Boy? Yes. yes. Well, <laughs> the second one, I wish I were in Spain because I love the food of Spain. It's mm -hmm. delicious. And the last one is, <clears throat> I wish I traveled out to another country because I have never traveled out to another country okay very good. so you wish to travel to another country yes which, which country would you like to visit i would like to visit spain or mexico or brazil spain. mexico brazil yes that's that's really good so and you have never uh no. left the country mm -mm. now even to guatemala honduras no 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 okay probably you it's terrible <laughs> it's terrible. it's if really was, hard, right? <laughs> but if yeah. I work, I want to travel. Yes, if you work, probably you will you will travel yes. to different places. Yes. Very good, very good wish. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Now we have Alba Saavedra. Go ahead, Alba. Good night. Good um, evening. Uh, good evening. Excuse me. I wish could speak friendly. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I were in Peru to know Machu Picchu rings. Mm -hmm. And third, I wish there was less traffic when I get up back home. Yes. Only that's... that. Okay, thank you, Alba. So you wish okay. you visited uh, Machu Picchu, right? Machu Picchu, yes. Yeah. And is, is, is something that you plan to do in the future or it's just like a dream or a desire or you're planning that? Uh, not plan like like a dream <laughs> it's like a dream it's just a wish right okay very good yes okay, okay. thank you all the Machu Picchu is beautiful so probably one day you will be able to go there and also uh, speak fluently right you you if you practice you will speak fluently very good Alba. okay thank okay. you thank you and we have another volunteer all right that's it okay teacher okay Me. Mr. Rios yes. go ahead and then Tatiana I wish I had more time to rest because all day is very uh, hard. Yes. And I wish I have a faster house because I I save the my house my house house mm -hmm. horse. Excuse me. Your I wish house. to have. Uh, horse, caballo, horse, mm -hmm. horse. Okay, I wish to have a car of the year, of mm -hmm. course, because uh, the last car is arsic. Is broken. Is broken. Yes. Okay. Let's finish. Finish. It's not. Yeah. You're not. You're is not it? driving it. It's not drivable anymore. No. No. No driver. Okay, so but you wish a new car, a car of, of the year, right? 2022, 23. Yes. Very 20, good. 22 is, 22, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. And you wish okay. you wish you had more time to rest. Yes. Because you're still working, right? Yes, uh, because all, all time, uh, all days, 
I get up at 4 a.m. Yes. And I, and it's algo more or less 5 p.m. Yes, that's a, a long Because, schedule for you at 5 yes, p.m. Yes, yes. He, uh, today, uh, I went to Chalate in the afternoon and I had to give a business consultancy, consultancy to a client. Mm -hmm. And that took time at, it was hot. Yes, and also the uh, weather, right? Yes. You, you yes. still had it, you feel more tired. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I understand. So very good okay. wishes, probably in the future, or you can plan something, you can organize your time better, and you will be able yes. to rest more, and you have a new car, right? Probably not <laughs> a car of the year, but a new car. Very good. A new Thank car. You. Thank you, Mr. Rias. Thank you, sir. Okay, now uh, we are going to continue with Tatiana, because Tatiana wants to, I, this, I said, Maricela, I'm sorry, I had a problem with internet teacher. Si, si tienen problemas con el internet, solo háganmelo saber, okay? No problem. Now, Tatiana, go ahead with your homework. I wish for my own, own house. Mm -hmm. I wish for more money. I wish for my own less in the near future. I wish for English fluently. With or speak with native speakers. I wish to go to the other countries, maybe Spain, States, Colombia. I wish work for international companies and I wish to study a master's degree. Okay, very good. So you wish a lot of things, right? And also you wish to travel to different countries, to Spain and also Colombia. And also you wish also to speak fluently. Very good. And are you planning to travel or are, are you doing something to travel abroad right now? Are you saving money? Are you, um, I don't know, checking plane tickets? Mm, for the moment, no. In the near future. Okay, right now, no, but uh, probably in the future, you will be able to travel to another country. And also your, one of your wishes is to speak with native uh, speakers. Have you had the opportunity to speak with native speakers, like English native speakers? Not yet, okay. Probably in the future, right? But you're preparing to speak fluently. Are you practicing like your speech or listening? Are you practicing your uh, Are you practicing your English right now? With the um, the apps. With the apps. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. apps do you use? Yellow Talk. It's a good app for uh, practice English. What is the name of the app? Yellow Talk. Yellow Talk. Yellow Talk. Okay, I didn't know about that app. So probably you will be able to, we are going to practice with that app, right? The apps are really useful if you have the time to use them. And sometimes they are really entertaining. So very good. It's a, a very good idea to practice with that. Thank you for your participation, Tatiana. And I guess that we don't we don't have more volunteers, right? Jenny, Jenny, do you want to participate with your homework? Estela. Yes. Okay, go go ahead, Jenny. I wish travel to the world. I wish to work from home again. I wish to learn another language after English. Okay, what language would you like to learn? Maybe German. German. Okay, do you know some words German. in German? Uh, any words, <laughs> words, Not any but... Word. Like, you know, <laughs> but you like to speak, you like to speak, you, you like that language, German. Yes, I I have a friend that she traveled to the German, German, Germany, and, and this, and he say that the, the country is so beautiful. Yes, the country is, is beautiful. Uh, there are different things, right, because um but they are more order or organized probably than here in latin america but yes yes and, and, and you want to visit germany with your friend or 
I don't know. <laughs> By the moment uh, the first I learned English and and travel to any uh, um, algún. How do you say algún? Algún, algún qué? O sea, primero aprendes inglés y después lo primero sería viajar a un país en el que se pueda hablar, como Inglaterra o Estados mm -hmm. Unidos. Yeah, so yeah. you would like to, to learn English first and then you would like to travel to another country where you can practice your English. English. Yes, or okay. Australia. Australia, yeah, Australia, they speak English. It's kind of different, but yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the people did say that the English is very different than American or or uh, or England. Yes, but I don't know. <laughs> yes, it's, just, it's like another accent, and they use different words, but basically it's almost the same. Basically. Okay. Okay. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you, uh, Jenny, with uh, your participation and your wishes. Now, um, Estela and Levy are missing, okay? Go ahead, uh, Levy. Good evening, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Well, I wish I were in a different country because mm -hmm. I want to learn some something different about their diversity and their culture. Mm -hmm. And I wish I have a, a motorcycle in preference of uh, a Yamaha MT-10. And I wish I have to spend more time with my family. Okay, so you wish you spend more time with your family. You are not living with your family right now? Yeah, I'm living, but they have some things to do in the day and we just see us in the night. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of difficult because they have jobs and probably you have also your activities during the day and you just like see your family just for one hour, two hours and you see more people than uh, than your family. You live with your family, but you don't see them. So yeah, that's a very good wish because sometimes they go to different places or yes, a very good wish. And also you wish to, you had uh, your own motorcycle, uh, a Yamaha, right? Yes. Do you like cars or bikes better? Uh, rather, you like rather bikes. you like, like bikes. It. You don't like cars that much. Uh, not as much, but I love the motorcycle. Very good. Not as much as motorcycles. Very good. Thank you, Levy. Thank you for your participation. And I guess that the last one will be Estela, right? Are you there, Estela? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, go ahead. I honest. I didn't know my homework. I just got home. You just got home. But, uh, mm -hmm. yes. Pero, eh, todo lo que mis compañeros me están hablando, traté de hacerla ahorita. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. My wish is to be in, a, to be able, able to express myself in English and to be, to be able to start a conversation over Chinese. In Chinese? I wish I could sing. And you wish in, you could sing? In English. In English. Okay, so you, you wish you, you can express, you could express yourself uh, in English fluently. And you wish you spoke Chinese also? Chinese? Chino? No, no eh, no. <laughs> chines. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Timidez. Shy. Okay, your shyness. You're shy. That you don't. You wouldn't like shyness. to be that shy. Okay, very good. Shyness. And also, you wish. And number two. Uh huh. And number three. Your wish number three is. I wish I could think another job because I saw I could live live in my current job okay so you don't like your current job yes my life but i need travel to uh, san salvador uh -huh. uh, in nuestra coco i live in san salvador 
Yes. So you wish you you were, you had a job in San Salvador and you wish you lived in San Salvador also there, right? Because you're planning that, right? Yes, I remember that. So very good. Even if you just got home and you just start doing your homework, that was really good. A very good participation and congratulations for your effort still, okay? Keep on practicing and you will be able to stretch yourself. So we are going to check that uh, teacher. I'm having problems with the internet connection. Okay, no problem, Astrid. Um, vamos a continuar con la clase. Uh, this was the homework just to introduce the structure that we are going to study today. Congratulations to everyone because I guess that you've been practicing and you, you're you getting better with your English. That's what you have to keep on practicing, okay? And uh, I guess that you have been working also in the platform. So um, the lesson for today or the objective for today is to express wishes and desires. It's about uh, it's a big part of communicating with friends, learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life, career, or health. This lesson from English teacher Joe Sands explained how to use the verb to wish in the present tense and combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. Or I wish I were thinner. This lesson includes an oral language comprehe comprehension exercise. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to study how can we express wishes. Como podemos decir, quisiera estar en otro país, o quisiera tener más dinero, o quisiera tener más tiempo para mi familia, okay? Como decimos eso en inglés, okay? Correctly, right? Um, these are some expressions uh, we are going to read the conversation. So we are going to know how we can express wishes, okay? It says, I wish I didn't live with my parents and I wish I had a different job. Desearía no vivir con mis padres o desearía tener un diferente trabajo, un trabajo diferente, okay? So we are going to read two conversations. I guess that you have, if you have worked in the platform, you have... Um, listen to, to it already, but we are going to practice it with a partner right now. Vamos a practicar con un compañero, okay? So we are going to have like two or three participants or pairs to participate. Uh, one person will be letter A, one person will be letter B. So we are going to have, uh, for example, letter A says, so are you still living with your parents, Terry? And letter B says, I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay. But my parents are always uh, ask me uh, to be at home before midnight. I wish they stopped worrying about me. Yes, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Okay. ¿De qué se trató la conversación? ¿Quién la entendió? Who understood the conversation? What was about it? Dice que todavía vive con sus padres y que desearía tener un apartamento porque le ponen hora de llegada a la medianoche, algo así. Exactly. So this person is, is unhappy because they this person lives with their parents, right? And with your live with your parents, you're not independent. Um, they can tell you, you they can tell you things right that you have to be here at home, you have to do this, help with the housework, and this person doesn't uh doesn't like to do that, right? Doesn't like to help with the house, doesn't like to he, he just wants to live there uh, without any responsibility, it seems, right? Yes. So we are going to practice this conversation. Um, let me change something here because I I think it's something is incorrect. Is are always asking me. Okay, so we are going to. I just need two participants, right? One uh, letter A and letter B. Someone who hasn't participated yet. Alguien que no haya participado, por favor, que me ayude a leer la conversación, just to practice. 
Okay, we have Astrid and we have Jenny. Do you want to participate, Jenny? Yes. Okay, so Jenny, you will be student A and Astrid, you will be student B. And Claudia, you will help me with the other conversation. We have another conversation, okay? Claudia, stay there. So Jenny, you will be you will begin, okay? Okay. So are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I, I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they stopped worrying about me. Yes, pardon, I like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Okay, very good. Now, remember to do like more naturally. I know that is kind of difficult. So we have to pay attention and um, in the pronunciation and also in intonation. It's important how we say things, ¿verdad? Es importante como decimos las cosas. Y eh, this is not our, our mother tongue, right? No, no, no hemos nacido ni hemos crecido oyendo el inglés probablemente, pero eh, podemos oír, por ejemplo, en las series, en platforms like Netflix, we can listen to pronunciation and we can imitate. So vamos a tratar de imitar, ¿verdad? For example, if, if it is a question, uh, try to uh, change the pronunciation as a question, right, in English. Probablemente en inglés, en español, no tenemos que cambiar tanto la entonación en, eh, en, para preguntas, pero en inglés sí. Por ejemplo, so are you still living with your parents, Terry? So are you still living with your parents, Terry? So it's a question, right? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. So primero háganlo despacio y después vayan, um, creo que esto está en la plataforma, vayan escuchándola y pueden ir repitiendo, imitando, ¿verdad? Why don't you like living at home? So it's another question. It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they stopped worrying about me. So vayan haciéndolo lentamente, después vayan haciéndolo un poco más rápido, más rápido. Try to practice that with conversations. And yes, it says, yes, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? So why don't you move out? So it's another intonation, right? So try to imitate. Traten de imitar el inglés. A veces dicen, es que a mí no me sale porque, o es que yo no hablo como hablan ahí, o no hablan. Entonces, traten de imitar. So, imi alguien que les guste como habla, traten de imitar a esa persona, a ese actor, o si escuchan a alguien hablando así, traten de imitar eh, la entonación, las palabras que usa. That's a very good advice. Now we have another conversation. It's shorter, right? It says, I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, maybe. So we are going to practice this conversation. I guess I had somebody here. It was Claudia, right? Claudia and someone else. Alguien que no haya participado. Patricia. Okay, Patricia. Claudia, are you still there? Yes, teacher. I am. Okay, Claudia. We are going to have also Andrea, okay, later. Okay, Patricia and Claudia van a ser la primera la primera uh, práctica de la conversación está aquí. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Patricia, or you can begin, or Claudia, okay? No problem. Okay. Um, I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? Um, I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. 
I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we you could move to a different city. We could even be even be roommates. Yeah, maybe. Very good, very good. You did it very good. Uh, even, right? We could even be roommates. And remember questions, right? Really? What kind of job would you like? So try to change the intonation. We are going to have another uh, another two people. I guess that we had Andrea, right? And someone else. Alguien que no haya participado? Me, teacher. Okay, who said me? Maricela. Maricela, okay, Maricela. Okay, we, we, we have you back, Maricela. And who else? Yes. Who else? ¿Quién más? Me. Andrea. Andrea, okay, Andrea. Who will begin, Maricela or Andrea? I'm beginning. Okay, Maricela, go ahead. You letter A and Maricela and Andrea letter B. Okay. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I work somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, maybe. Very good, very good with the intonation. That, that's like acting right. Very good, very good. I like it very much. So really, what kind of job would you like? That's okay. Uh, a veces en español no, no somos tan expresivos, but in English probably sometimes we need it, right? We need to, to yes. be like that. Very good. Congratulations. So we are going to continue with the class. We are going to practice a little bit more. I just need you to um, understand the, the structures, right? Uh, alguien al principio en la tarea eh, dijo, I wish I was. In regular or um, actually in when you speak daily or in formal English, uh, we understand, right? Desearía que ser algo, I wish I, desearía estar en otro lugar. I wish I was in another place. I un, We understand that. But the correct way to say it is, I wish I were, right? I wish I were, okay? So this is what we are going to study right now. Use wish plus past tense to refer to present wishes. So we use the past tense, el pasado de los verbos para referirnos a deseos, ¿verdad? I live with my parents. I wish I didn't live with my parents. Didn't is past, right? In negative, auxiliary, right? I wish I had my own apartment. I wish I had. Desearía tener. En español lo traducimos en tener, ¿verdad? But in English, the rule says that is in past. So, en español lo traducimos en tener. But in English, is, es pasado, ¿verdad? I can move out. No me puedo mudar. I wish I could move out. Desearía poder mudarme. Life is difficult. I wish it were easier. I wish it weren't so difficult. Okay, where? Also with um, uh, it, he, she, we don't say was. We say where, right? Usamos where, no, no usamos was. For every uh, pronoun, para todos los pronombres, vamos a usar where, for all of them. If we use I wish, solo si usamos I wish. If we're talking in, in, in past, in like past tense, I, I, I was here, uh, she was in my house, that's okay. But if I use I wish, we are going to use where for all of them, okay? Para he, she, he, you, they, okay? So that's a rule. And it says, my parents won't stop worrying about me. I wish they will stop worrying about me, okay? So the past of won't, Let's say that is would, right? Um, so that would be like the past tense of that uh, model verb. And we have a structure here, un orden, verdad? Siempre la formula. So we have the formula there. It says subject plus wish plus subject plus verb in the past. 
plus complement. I wish I didn't live with my parents. So we have two subjects, right? I wish and then the wish, right? I wish I had my own apartment. And we have more examples there. I wish I had time to do my homework. Desearía tener tiempo para hacer mi tarea. She wishes okay. she had... <laughs> me too, right? Yeah, everybody, I believe. She wishes she had her family with her. Ella desea tener a su familia con ella. She wishes she had her family with her. They wish it was Friday. Ellos desearían o quisieran que fuera viernes. They wish it was Friday. Um, I wish I weren't sick. Mario wishes, well, actually that is, I wish, um, they wish it were Friday, right? That is not correct here. That is the example that we have to, we have to correct it here. So is where, right? Remember, I'm going to change it here. So I wish they wish it were Friday. Teacher, and we have, yes. Where, where siempre lo hemos para que sea para cuando hablamos de nosotros. I wear, I wish. I wear. I wear. Uh -huh. okay. No, yo no digo I wish I was, ¿verdad? I wish I were. Okay. I wish I were. Very good. And um, I wish I weren't. This is in negative, right? I wish I weren't sick. Desearía no estar enfermo. Mario wishes he had another job. And I wish I could ride a motorcycle. Desearía poder manejar una motocicleta. I wish I could ride a motorcycle. Over there, we have like the same formula, right? With the verb to be. Like what, what you were asking, Estela, if I use a uh, la it or I, it was going to be where? Yes, I wish life were easier. Life is it, right? So it, it is where for all of them. I wish life weren't so difficult. I wish I were on vacations. Como ustedes estaban diciendo, desearía tener vacaciones, but I wish I were on vacation. Wendy wishes you were traveling around the world. So she were, did you see here? She were, no, she was, she were, porque estamos usando wishes, right? You wish you were at home right now. Desearías estar en casa en este momento. Probably you are at home right now. And here is with the verb in the past, right? It's the same structure, verb in the past or verb to be in the past. Subject plus wish plus subject plus verb in the past plus complement. I wish my parents will stop worrying about me. I wish, uh, I wish, um, here we have to, to subject, so we have to change it, right? I wish they will have come earlier and we wish we will work only for five hours. I have problems with the internet, the image is, freeze, is frozen. Okay, no problem, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know. Probably you will be able to see it later when uh, we upload the, the, the video. So, eso es lo que vamos a hacer eh, en este momento. Vamos a practicar el I wish, ¿verdad? I wish my parents will stop worrying about me. I wish they will have come earlier. I wish, we wish we will work only for five hours. And eso es lo que quiero ver. How much, how much time do we have? We have 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to try something right now. No, we have five minutes, right? Because I have to leave a... Okay, we are going to do something. We are going to practice this a conversation probably tomorrow. Um, um, it will be kind of difficult because you will prepare the, the first half. So, and then you, the other person will prepare the other half. Vamos a practicar una conversación, pero va, eso lo vamos a hacer mañana porque casi no hay tiempo. Vamos a tratar de hacerlo mañana. So, what I want you to do as a homework is just to review the things that we have studied, right? Because I, I will ask you about that. And also, um, prepare a wish, right? Uh, I want you to explain why do you wish something. So, for example, I wish I were, I were on vacations. And imagine that someone else asks you why. Why do you wish you were on vacations? And then you start explaining. I wish I were on vacation because I work too much. I want to see my family more. And 
I, I am tired. So that's why I wish I were on vacation. So one wish and the explanation. Why do you do you wish that? I wish I I spoke English fluently. Why? I because I need it for my job, because I need it um uh, to study abroad, right? And also I would like to speak with native speakers. Oh, okay, very good. So I need you to explain your wish. So we are going to practice tomorrow, okay? Because we have just we just have five minutes right now. And in these five minutes, we are going to complete this exercise. It says, transform the following sentences. Use I wish to create new statements. Vamos a practicar, ¿verdad? Vamos a practicar, vamos a transformar las oraciones. For example, it says, I want to be rich. Now, if we change the sentence uh, with I wish, how could I change it? ¿Cómo la vamos a cambiar con I wish? I want to be rich. Now, I wish. Maybe I wish I were rich. Very good. I wish I were right. I were rich. I was rich. No, I were rich. Next why I want my house to be beautiful. Now with I wish. I wish my house were beautiful. Yes, yes. I wish my house were beautiful or I wish I had a beautiful house. Very good. We have different ways to say it, right? Very good. Next one, I would like to have less strict parents. I wish, I, I wish my parents were less strict. Very good, I wish my parents were less strict. That's another word. I can say also, I wish I had less strict parents right both ways are correct very good and another one i want to live in an interesting city i, I wish, wish I, mm -hmm. I wish i i wish i, I were like an interesting city okay i wish and if we want to use the verb live the past of live is lived, right? Yeah. Lived, yeah. lived. So I wish I lived in an interesting city. Very good, very good. Next one, I would like to have my own room. I wish I had my own room. Very good, Tatiana. I wish I had my own room. Probably I'm sharing my room with somebody else, right? And I, ha I, I, I wish I had some privacy. Next one. I don't want to work a lot. I don't want to work a lot. That is negative, right? Negative. With negative... I didn't work a lot. Very good. I wish I didn't remember this one. I wish I didn't live with my parents. The structure, right? So it's the same. I wish I didn't work a lot. And the last one, I can speak Italian, but I want to. I want to speak Italian. So I wish. What is the past of speak? ¿Cuál es el pasado de speak? Well, spoke spoke Talk. very good spoke. mr rias so i wish i spoke italian right hablar italiano. i wish i spoke italian so very good so that's what we are going to do tomorrow right just prepare just a, a small sentence right like i wish i were rich and then the explanation i wish i were rich because i don't have money i have to pay many debts etc right and that's what we are going to practice tomorrow. And I will ask you different questions, right? About the topics that we have studied. No le voy a preguntar cosas que no hayamos estudiado, sino que cosas que ya estudiamos va a ser como un review. Y si tienen alguna pregunta acerca de cómo completar el midterm test, o no sé si ya lo completaron, pues eh, 
eh, lo podemos hacer, pueden hacer las preguntas también, ¿verdad? Y también ustedes se pueden ayudar en el grupo, porque veo que en algunos grupos de WhatsApp se están ayudando entre ustedes, así que you can ask there if I don't answer, because probably I'm busy or doing something else, probably your, your classmates can help you. So um, I don't know if you have any question about this structure, I wish, questions, preguntas. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de este tema? Okay. Yes, every, everything's no clear? Question. No questions, okay. No so we will try to practice tomorrow this and also uh, review the section one and section two and a little bit of the section three. Así que, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for your big effort and I wish you a very good night, okay? Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Have a nice, tomorrow. have a nice night. Nice. Nice. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.